We're going to today look at how to use Visual Studio Code's Live Share Extension Pack to allow in real time code collaboration among teammates. The first step for all teammates would be to install the Live Share Extension Pack, which you can get by clicking on this little building block icon on the left of Visual Studio Code. That takes you to the extensions area of Visual Studio Code where you search for Live Share. You'll find one of the results is the Live Share Extension Pack. Click that and install, clicking what you will see as the install button, which I've already installed, of course. Once installed, you now have the ability to start your real-time sessions. There are two ways you could start a real-time session with your team. The first would be to click your newly found button that you now have at the bottom that is going to pop open a new live share session. And the other way to do that would be to go to the live share icon, which you will now find in the left panel of your Visual Studio Code and start a new session here. I already have a session going, so let me just stop that. All right, so I've stopped the session. So, okay, so you will see the live share button at the bottom, as well as the live share start collaboration session, session option within the left panel. I'm gonna do it this way, just because I have this open. So start collaboration session will connect you to the live share servers run by Microsoft. And you'll find that at the bottom right, when it connects, you'll see there's a link that is automatically copied to your clipboard which you can share with your teammates to allow them to join your collaboration session. So you could post this link into Slack, post this link into an email, however you share it with your team. I'm gonna imagine I'm a teammate, I get that link, I can paste it up or I can just click on it and it'll pop open my browser. My browser would then ask me to allow the live share extension to pop open a session in Visual Studio Code. So your teammates would click to allow. They now will get Visual Studio Code on their machines popped open and join your collaboration session. So now I have two teammates. I've got the original team member who started the session and developer number two, whose window I'm now looking at, who would presumably be joining this collaboration session automatically. So let me put these two side by side. We can just take a look at the features of two developers working in collaboration in real time using Visual Studio Code's Live Share extension pack. All right, so I've got developer number two on the right, developer number one who originally started the session on the left. They are both now members of this collaboration session. And if any of the developers, let's say developer number one, goes to their files, starts working on a file, let's say marker routes.js, a file in this project I'm working on, and you will find that developer number two is going to be automatically seeing what developer number one is doing. So let me just make that clear. I'm gonna minimize the file panel here for a second in both screens so we can just see the code. So developer number one, let's say, starts editing in some code, um, leaving a comment. This is a wonderful tutorial on Visual Studio Code's live share extension pack. No. And developer number two would in real time be seeing that data entered. Notice that when developer number two agrees, agree, this is very clear. Developer number one sees that as well in their window. So these are two people in real time, editing the same code, seeing each other's changes, and always being notified of the changes and who's making the changes. Imagine there are many team members making changes that you would always see an icon showing exactly who has made each change, which is a nice feature. All right, so let's say you wanted to do chat. You wanted to pop open a text chat window. Well, Visual Studio Code comes with text chat abilities, at least the, the Visual Studio Code extension pack, which includes multiple extensions, includes the chat extension. So if you wanted to use the chat features, text chat that is, you could go to the panel on the left, which is the Visual Studio Code live share extension panel. And I'm gonna click that in both developers windows to see that. And you can pop open the chat window if it's not already popped open by clicking on the chat channel. I'll have both developers now pop open the chat channel so you can see. Each developer would of course have a bigger window. Let's imagine developer number two would have a full screen view and they could see the chat, which they can say, hello, Bloombar, how are you today? And Bloombar, developer number one, I'm logged in as the same user, of course, in both windows, but imagine these are two different users. Developer number one would, in their window, see, if they were viewing it in their normal full screen, hello, Bloombar, how are you? Bloombar, I'm great, thanks. Stay safe. All right, now developer number two would, of course, 
see that response. Now I'm the same developer in both windows. Again, this imagining you are two different developers. Now the next feature that you could take advantage of, well, first of all, let me mention that if you happen to have, which sometimes happens, chat and your text that you're editing, your code that you're editing in two different panels, two different tabs, and you'd like to see them side by side, but they're not by default side by side, you can take any window, any um, area, editing area in Visual Studio Code and flip it into a split view. The way you do that is on the right side, there's a split view icon. Click that, drag chat, drop it. It'll give you an extra panel, which you don't need, so just close that. And now I've got the side-by-side -side view, which makes it easier for me to write my code and chat, flip back and forth in real time. Now, the next feature of this extension pack which comes included is the audio chat. So let's say you wanted to actually do not text chat, but just get everybody on the line in voice using microphones to discuss the code as they edit it or whatever else they want to discuss. So let me get my side by side windows again. Imagine you have developer number one on the left. I'll just reduce this panel view developer number two on the right, and they want to start a voice chat. Well, you pop open your extension panel in both windows, I'll do that. And there is an option, if you've installed the Visual Studio Code extension pack, which comes with many extensions, there is a start audio call option. So let me click that as developer number one. That will trigger the initial call to be begun. And developer number two will get a notification that developer number one has started an audio call. And they can click to join or not, I'll join. I'm going to talk to myself. Now, now I, will, I will, in a moment, in a moment as, this, as connects, this connects, be on, be the, on call the call with myself. myself. Hopefully, Hopefully you can you hear, hear this, this echo, echo because, because I'm, speaking I'm speaking to, to my myself. Self. I'm going to hang, I'm going up, to hang up the call because, because this, this is, getting is getting a bit, a bit strange. strange. But you, but you hopefully, hopefully get, get the, the idea. idea. There we go. You hang up the call by... Muting yourself is one way. Well, I've just muted myself just to not have this echo. You can do that by just clicking on that little, if you hover over the participants and you are that participant, you can click to mute yourself. The, to hang up the call altogether for any developer, you would hover over the audio call participants area right here and click that do not enter sign. So click that, you'll hang up the call. I'll do that for both participants because this is getting strange. Now I'm back in just me talking to you. All right, so that's the audio call feature. Very useful if you just want to get a bunch of people on the phone, not the phone, on the computer and discuss in real time your code or whatever other nonsense you want to talk about. That's the way you do it. All right, there are a few more features of this Visual Studio Code extension pack, although you've at this point gotten a pretty good idea of it. As you know, in Visual Studio Code, you have a nice integrated terminal. So let's say you want to build your project and start it. So uh, node or npm install, I want to get all this stuff running on my machine, get all the uh, node modules imported and installed that are specified in the package JSON, etc. Now I ready, I'm ready to start it. So let's say node index to run that file. And my app is now up and running, at least on my local machine. So all the useful things in the integrated terminal. Now the nice thing about Visual Studio Code extension live share pack is that developer number two can actually see what developer number one is doing in their terminal. Uh, and uh, that is a, a nice feature. So you do get by default a shared terminal window that both developers or all developers will be able to see in common. Now, if developer number two wants to open up their own little terminal window, of course they can click plus to create a second one in addition to the first that is now theirs and uh, you know, and see what's going on. So the, uh, the that is on their own machine now, but this shared terminal is actually a view into developer number one's machine. Now, can developer number two enter in commands on developer number one's machine? I have that set to yes, I have that as a as as something that I actually have implemented. That is not always going to be the default. So if you go to your live share extension panel settings, you will find that there's a shared terminals area here and you can add a new shared terminal, meaning a new terminal that your teammates will be able to see. And you can remove any shared terminal that you might want. So let me click that. And now developer number two will no longer see what developer number one is doing. The, the terminal is no longer shared. I'm only back at my uh, original terminal. 
So it's a, it's a nice feature, and you don't always have to allow developer number two the ability to write commands on developer number one's machine. Let me pop open a new shared terminal and show you. Share terminal. Uh, you can pick when you when you do create a new shared terminal whether you want it to be read only or read write. So I'll do read only, and I hope that developer number two cannot run nefarious commands on my computer now. But they will see what I'm doing. But if they try to do some commands, well, it's actually working. Uh, let me clear. Now that shouldn't be happening. That should be a read-only terminal, not a read-write terminal. But for some reason, Visual Studio Code is allowing the developer number two to write. Now, another uh, little feature is, let's say developer number one is working on some code, writing console logs everywhere, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Developer number two will, of course, see that. Now, what if developer number one, number two, wants to pop open their own editor window with different code? Well, let's say I click on this file. I will be able to edit some other file and developer number one is no longer looking at the same place as developer number two and vice versa. So they're now editing different windows. So all you had to do is just click on some other file and now you kind of disconnect and are no longer seeing what each other are doing. So what if you wanted to get the attention of the other developer? Let's say developer number one wants developer number two to look at what they're doing because it's interesting and important and they want to collaborate on it. Well, developer number one can go to their live share extension panel on the left and can find the other participants and ask them to follow, which means make a request for them to look at the code file and the place in the code file where developer number one is actually editing. So I can up here in the session area in this left part this left bar I can click this little kind of megaphone symbol that asks focus of the other participants so if I click that developer number two and all other developers will receive a notification that they have been requested to look at this particular place now in this case it's actually just automatically flipped me to this other file so again if I flip back to this other file developer number one wants your attention clicks that focus you will it seems automatically flip to where developer number one is. That can be very useful. Now, if you if you don't want to follow what they're doing anymore, you can just click off to some other file and you lose that connection now that you're no longer following that developer. So that's a nice little feature that's available to you. So again, click to focus other participants on the area that you're working on. Let's say developer number two flips to another file, wants to do some edits, console log, of course, dot, dot, dot. Developer number one is doing something else, but developer number two is doing something interesting and developer number one wants to see what they're doing. Developer number one can go into the participants area here, click on the other user, and now just be following them. So everything developer number two is doing, console.log again, because this is just going on and on and flipping to another file, for example, developer number one will automatically be following developer number two. Again, that's because they've clicked on the participant that they want to follow. So that is an interesting feature. Anything developer number two does, flipping between files and so on, developer number one will be tagging along automatically. If developer number one is sick of following developer number two and wants to do their own work, by all means, go back to your files, click on some other file, and you will no longer have this connection. You will no longer be following developer number two. So you disconnect by simply clicking on a different file that you want to edit. All right, thank you and goodbye.